Hello and welcome to today's version of Mr. Boskin Talks About Math. Today we are helping with Unit 7, Lesson 8, Combining Bases, Practice Problems. I'm going to be working right out of the assistments view. So let's look at the first problem. The first problem says select all of the true statements. Now, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could try multiplying them out, see what you get, and compare. Or you can just work with the rules that we have been working with. The first problem here says 2 to the 8th times 2 to the 9th equals 2 to the power of 17. We know from our exponent rules when we're multiplying like bases, both of those are 2 to the power of something, we can add the exponents. 8 plus 9 is 17, so that one is true. The next one we have 8 squared times 9 squared equals 72 squared. Our new rule is if we have like exponents, those are both to the power of 2, and we're multiplying, we can multiply the bases. 8 times 9 is 72. That is also true. The next one is 8 squared times 9 squared equals 72 to the power of 4. The bases are not the same. The exponents are we would multiply the bases but not touch the exponents, so that is incorrect. The next one is 2 to the 8 times 2 to the 9 equals 4 to the power of 17. That is also not correct because if the bases are the same, we multiply the exponents but we don't touch the base. Okay, the next problem here is a little longer. Find x, y, and z if 3 times 5 times... So this one's a little trickier. We have to find out how many times each of these are multiplied by themselves. So we have a 2 here and we have a 2 here. This 2 is to the power of 5, and this 2 is the power of 7. How many times is 2 multiplied by itself? Well, here 5 times, and here 7 times. 5 plus 7 is 12. So this has to be 2 to the power of 12. Now our next number we have is 3. If I give 3 a new color, we have a 3 here, we have a 3 here, this 3 is the power of 4, this one's to the power of 5. So that has to be 3 to the power of 4 plus 5, which is 9. Now we need another color because we also have 5. We've got a 5 here. We've got a 5 here. 5 is multiplied by itself 4 times here, 7 times here. Add those together, 7 plus 4 is 11. Now, it wants this answer in this form. x is the power of 2, which is 12. y is the power of 3, which is 9. And 5 is the power of 11, which is z. So our answer here should be Can I keep those? 
that made them go away. Okay, this problem's a little longer. I'll move that out of the way. So this asks us to use the same method to calculate this. Well, if I look at this, what's in these parentheses could also be three to the power of three times five to the power of three. Now I can combine this five to the power of three with this five. So this could be two to the power of four times five to the power of four times three to the power of three. Now, combining these, I know that two to the four times five to the four is 10 to the power of four times three to the power of three. Those are easier to deal with. 10 to the power of four means 10 with four zeros after it. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Every time we multiply by 10, we put an extra zero. That's a 10 with four zeros after it. That's 10,000. 3 to the power of 3 means 3 times itself. 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 is 27. That works out to be a little bit easier math problem to do without using a calculator. 27 times 10,000. Two hundred and seventy thousand. Okay, our next one. We want to do the same way, but this is broken up a little bigger. So if we look at this, unpack what's in these parentheses first, and that would be two to the three times five squared. Unpack what's in these parentheses, that would be two squared times three squared times, unpack what's in these parentheses, 3 squared times 5 squared, and all of this is over 3 squared. So what pieces here can we combine? Well, we have 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 2. Like bases mean we can just add the exponents. So that's 2 to the power of 5. Here we have 3 squared times 3 squared. Add the exponents. What about 5s? We have 5 squared. We have another 5 squared. All over 3. 3 squared. Now, we can get rid of this because we know that if we're dividing, you just subtract the exponents. So then we would have 2 to the 5, 3 to the 4th over 3 squared, subtract the exponents. 
4 subtract 2 is 2. 3 squared times 5 to the 4th. We get rid of the big ugly fraction to deal with in there. I just realized I've been doing a bunch of work behind the camera. So now that we have this piece here, that's a little easier to deal with. If we want to wind up with 10 to a power, we have to look at 2 times 5 gives us 10. If we break that up, 2 to the 5 is just 2 times 2 to the 4. We can combine the 2 to the 4 and the 5 to the 4. So then we're left with just 2 times 3 squared times 10 to the power of 4. 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18 so it's 18 times 10 to the 4 which means it's 18 times a 10 with or a 1 with four zeros after